Godzilla in the MonsterVerse has undergone some changes. This time, he's got pink dorsal fins and atomic breath. Kong, not to be outdone, equips his right hand with a Thanos-like glove. In the trailer for Godzilla and Kong, the new empire, we're finally introduced to the anticipated main villain, Scar King. With the arrival of this titan, Godzilla and Kong are forced to team up to face him. Truly epic. Moreover, the trailer reveals that there's still a civilization of the Iwi tribe living in Hollow Earth. I'll try to explain the ritual they're performing involving Jia there. What figure they're actually trying to resurrect. Let's discuss this trailer and explore the characters they want to bring back to life. The trailer opens with a monarch facility scene surrounding a hole on the beach. Since there's a scene of Scar King wreaking havoc on the beach, this location might be one of the three vile vortexes, the gates to Hollow Earth on the Earth's surface. In the movie Godzilla vs. Kong, the Vile Vortex is in Antarctica. In the Skull Island animated series, there's also a Vile Vortex on Skull Island. This could be a visual representation of the Vile Vortex at the bottom of the sea, as explained in some MonsterVerse comics. Initially, I thought this was a location of a past nuclear bomb explosion, as shown in the Monarch Legacy of Monsters series. So, it's clear where Godzilla went right after the explosion until he disappeared from view he might have entered that vile vortex. Next, I initially thought we'd see the Titan Shermu in a scene at the Egyptian Pyramid, as seen in leaked photos a few months ago. However, what actually appears is a giant hand equipped with an iron glove. This is Kong's hand. Many speculate that this happens after Kong loses his axe, possibly due to his fight with Scar King. As a replacement, Kong wears this iron glove. When I first saw this hand, I thought we might see a mechanical version of Kong, like the robot version in the 1967 film King Kong Escapes. Turns out, it's Kong's version of the Infinity Gauntlet. If the leaked photos of Shermu a few months ago are indeed true, this scene might lead to the emergence of that titan. Because in this movie, the main villain is likely Scar King, so Shermu might just be a supplementary titan. Not much different from Nozuki, whose appearance in Godzilla vs. Kong was brief. If Titan Shermu becomes the main villain, it seems unlikely, because the studio surely knows that a villain character needs strong motives and traits. Scar King has had a motive since the past, seeking revenge for his species against the Godzilla clan. So, Scar King fits well as the main villain. Then, it shows the beautiful Hollow Earth, complete with a flock of leafwings that are always present. Because of its different shape, it seems that the aircraft used to enter there is not made by Apex Cybernetics anymore. Possibly made by Monarch itself. Apex Cybernetics seems to have gone bankrupt due to its leader's death. Here, we see the old character Eileen Andrews along with a new character named Steven Randa, played by Dan Stevens. Who is he related to Bill Randa? Since the Legacy of Monsters series, there are so many relatives of Bill Randa. Maybe he's Bill Randa's son, perhaps like Hiroshi Randa. So they might be siblings. Maybe, their arrival in Hollow Earth is likely to receive news that the Monarch facility there has been damaged by the creature with footprints on the walls, also the location of this Monarch facility. Here, Eileen Andrews states that those are not Kong's footprints. Of course, you can guess, whose primate footprints are these other than Kong's? This is a scene that surprised me. I thought Scar King was towering, but it turns out to be the silhouette of the small Kong species. There are various responses regarding the appearance of the shadow of Kong behind the mist. Some believe that it's not just any shadow, but it shows that this small Kong figure can shrink and enlarge. Initially, I underestimated this response because I thought it was just an optical illusion caused by the hollow earth light coming from various directions, making the shadow of the small Kong seem very large. But after careful examination, in this scene, the light source causing this shadow comes from above. That means this Kong figure originally was indeed gigantic. Its size is twice as big as Kong. Hmm, could it be Scar King, who indeed has the power to shrink himself? It truly becomes a mystery.
Feel free to comment below. Yes, next, it shows Kong entering a chasm in Hollow Earth. That's the remains of the Kong civilization. It's proven by the next scene, which seems to be a flashback to the past when thousands of Kong species still lived in Hollow Earth, led by Scar King. Turns out, the Scar King figure occupying the throne is bald. He looks old compared to the Kong species shown here, and he has a different race. The normal body type of the Kong species is a gorilla, while Scar King seems more like a chimpanzee. I want to say he looks like an orangutan, but after taking a closer look, it's a bit different. But what do you think? There's another theory about the scene of the Kong species gathering approached by Scar King, which is that this is not a flashback to the past but the first meeting of Kong with his species in Hollow Earth. Many say that the white-bearded Kong in the middle is indeed Kong, and automatically Scar King, as the leader of the remaining Kong species, appears before him. Since that meeting, the conflict between Kong and Scar King occurs, leading Kong to a battle that causes him to lose his dorsal fin axe and his injured right hand, prompting Monarch to make the iron glove for Kong. But this is still just a theory. What do you think? For the first time, we're shown the Death Jackal pack in live action, after previously these dog-like creatures only appeared in Monsterverse comics, such as The Birth of Kong and Kingdom Kong. Next, here's a new revelation. It turns out, in Hollow Earth, there is still a civilization of the Iwi tribe. The Iwi tribe known as the inhabitants of Skull Island originally comes from Hollow Earth. Here, it seems they are holding Steven. What's this guy doing again? Looks like the signs of the return of the comedic trio. So, Barnes is indeed in this film. Madison Russell is also there, but not seen in this trailer. As for the other one, we don't know if he will appear or not. Because he's not listed in the cast. Jia is also in this film, and it seems she is a key character here. Jia seems to be performing a ritual that requires her to climb a very tall staircase. Usually, in King Kong movies, there is a sacrificial ceremony for Kong. But in my opinion, this is not that kind of ritual. It reminds me of when Dr. Sarazawa walked up the stairs to the Godzilla temple to awaken Godzilla in the film Godzilla, King of the Monsters. If you look at the color around the civilization, it is very similar to the color of the ice in this scene, the scene where Godzilla is hibernating frozen. So, this could be a ritual aimed at awakening Godzilla. Godzilla mixed with the energy of the Iwi tribe civilization. Seriously, this is so cool. I didn't think the evolution of Godzilla in the MonsterVerse would go this far. I didn't think the toy leaks from yesterday were really real. Godzilla evolved, Godzilla with pink dorsal fins and atomic breath. Hmm, it feels weird to say pink, but if I call it purple, it's not purple. It's really pink. I agree that this is the spiral heat ray Godzilla, according to the MonstersVerse version. The design reference must be from there. A temporary theory can be summarized that the Iwi tribe needs Godzilla to help Kong fight Scar King. It seems Scar King smelled the sense of the previous alliance between Kong and Godzilla, or the sense of Kong's alliance with humans that Scar King dislikes. Scar King wants the Kong species to dominate Earth, so this is the reason why Scar King appears on the surface to slaughter humans and exterminate Godzilla. This is also due to the past grudge where the Kong species and Godzilla fought. But again, this is still a theory, based on clues from previous films and comics. Sometimes ago, we were shown this photo. I initially thought that what was frozen here was Space Godzilla, Zozla Halawa mentioned by the Iwi tribe as the star-eating flying Godzilla. Because at the same time, Spiral Studio also released this stone figure. So I thought this was Diamond Space Godzilla. And now it's answered that this is Godzilla in hibernation, allowing him to absorb the energy of the Iwi tribe civilization from Hollow Earth. But here, Godzilla doesn't rise from Hollow Earth. He rises from a snowy area that might be connected to Hollow Earth. This scene is similar to when Godzilla first rose from the ice in the 1962 film King Kong vs. Godzilla. Above Godzilla, there's also a helicopter, very similar to that film. 
I also noticed that Godzilla this time has more dorsal fins, plus a spike that appears on his hand. I understand why Godzilla is slimmer this time. Just imagine, maybe he's been hibernating for a long time because his radiation supply is low, so he becomes thin. Actually, he hasn't been hibernating for a very long time since the events of Godzilla vs Kong, because here, Eileen Andrews is still present. Maybe he hibernated for two to three years, perhaps. Whether Godzilla hibernates by his own will or he lost to something, it's still a mystery. Now, this is the most epic rare moment in the MonsterVerse. These two titans are running side by side. Seriously, it seems like they're so full of revenge that they want to punch the enemy's chest in front of them while running like that. Godzilla's slightly slim body shape is more noticeable here, and the trailer ends with the little Kong that Barnes called Mini Kong earlier. Hmm, it seems too friendly if he is indeed Scar King who can shrink. What do you think? Okay, that's it for the discussion about the Godzilla and Kong, the new Empire trailer. This film is planned to be released on April 12, 2024, but it can still change any time. I'll discuss again if there are other interesting facts in this trailer. Thank you for watching. Please click like if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to share it with your friends who like discussions about the MonsterVerse. See you in the next video.